Yes, sir. Wall to wall celebrities. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bert Parks, and Hollywood hasn't seen a premiere like this since the good old days. We just talked to the director of the film. And now here comes one of the stars, Miss Nicole Bridu. Wonderful diamond bracelets. Are you going to settle here? We oh, already. I have a little chateau in the hill, but now I must stay unforgettably in uh, a stuffy hotel room. Any room with you in it could never be stuffy. I'll oh, give you that. Oh, <laughs> thank you, and thank you, my darlings. Mm. Ah. Thank you, my darling. Produce room. Are you taking a pull? I heard noises. She's supposed to be at the premiere. Good man, you are in your toes. Actually, she's at the premiere. I was watching it on television. And, uh... Then who am I? You're very thorough like that. I'm Mademoiselle Bridoux's fiance. I just flew in from New York to surprise her. Oh? Uh -huh. Matter of fact, I'm very glad you came. We'll be wanting midnight supper here in the room. Bring us some caviar, trout amandine, and a good chablis. I leave the selection up to you. Any questions? Well... For your trouble. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Where are you going, lover? I thought you ordered trout for two. for a competitor. Neither. Funny, I don't remember ringing for room service. Compliments of the hotel. Who are you, by the way? I hate being arrested by strangers. Honey West. Honey West? Well, well, well. The girl private eye. Don't you know a woman's place is in the home? This is no time for a proposal. Just hand over the loot. Guess you can't win them all. Might as well kiss the lady goodbye. What lady? Just an elegant friend I had a kind of date with. Mind if the condemned man has a last cigarette? Go ahead, but no quick moves. Bet you say that to all the boys. Only you, lover. Keep talking. I'm beginning to get your message. <laughs> Never tried to kiss a black belt before. It's always the first time. How about a rematch? Two out of three falls? I'll take a rain check. Let's go. What are you looking for? My contact lens. Must have dropped out while I was airborne. Contact lens? So I'm vain. Turn on that light, will you please? He has a little mustache. I think he's going to use a service entrance. Hello, 
Is this the only back exit of the hotel? There's a loading ramp just around the corner. Thanks. Don't mention it. This looks like an Abbott job. What? Abbott, a jet set thief. He uses a strip of celluloid to pry back the spring locks on these hotel doors. He only robs celebrities. But I was prepared for him. I hired this woman to keep watch, no? But you failed me. He made a fool of you. Thanks for reminding me. Let's take this from the top. Miss West, exactly why were you hired? Maybe you better ask her. Well? I've read in the papers about a thief who robs celebrities. I think to myself, uh, how interesting it would be to have him apprehended in my room. A publicity stunt. And you went along with it. Are you putting me on? I was playing it for real. Even so, you should have checked more carefully. You're a licensed private investigator. I hope you realize that that license can be revoked at any time. You're new on robbery detail, aren't you, Lieutenant Keith? Yes, started a few weeks ago. Why? I was just saying to Sam, the force needs new blood. Wasn't I, Sam? Sure. Especially men under 40. <laughs> well, I... You know, you and I ought to get together for dinner someday soon. I like to establish a personal relationship with the new man. It helps me to cooperate with the department. Well, I think that's a good idea. Fine. Uh, will you be needing us for anything more? Well, you... no, no. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Helpful? Uh, shall we make it next Wednesday? Wonderful. I'm in the book. <laughs> good. Come on, Sam. Dinner is served. Caviar, trout, and a 1959 Chablis. Lieutenant, you really are a swinger. <laughs> Where's your fiance? Let's stick to the subject, honey. Just why are you going after this guy? A woman scorned, professional pride. Take your pick. So now it's a vendetta. Exactly. I was outmaneuvered. I don't like that. Let's go into the office, Sam. You're making Bruce nervous. You're running a private detective agency, not a bureau of hurt feelings. You wouldn't understand. You're a man. Whose misfortune it is to work for a woman. When your father and I ran this I out. know, the good old days. Well, at least we kept our feet on the ground. Look at this. A half a dozen cases piled up. And you're chasing a jewel thief. Not just a jewel thief, Sam. I've never met anyone like him before. He's sophisticated, attractive, and... Deadly. A real blade man. He's trying hard to make the top ten. Five jobs in two weeks, and all celebrities. Mm, really? It sounds like he's right out of James Bond. Will you be serious, honey? From what I hear, this guy's real bad news, and I promised your father I... You'd look after me, I know. I appreciate it. Samuel, would you just please flip the record over? I'll flip the record when you drop the case. I will, when I catch him. Will you let the police do it? We work for money, remember? You haven't even got a client. Yes, I have. Myself. Boy, that'll get us rich. Sam, you will help me, won't you? Well, somebody's got to keep you out of trouble. You're a sweetheart, Sam. I have one lead. Our friend dropped something last night. I neglected to mention it to the police. Naturally. He said something about kissing the lady goodbye. His wife? No, no, no. He had a very unmarried look in his eye. I think he was talking about his next caper. Go on. 
Well, I did some checking up. There's a famous diamond worth nearly a quarter of a million dollars. Guess what it's called? You tell me. The Gray Lady. My, my. Who owns it? Play the game. Ex-chorus queen married to a multi multi who naturally dropped dead of a heart attack. And now she's married to a younger, much younger knight in her shining money. Babs Ivar. Right. But she lives in New York. So? So what do we do? Commute? We won't have to. According to the newspapers, they're arriving this... <laughs> Jerry, darling, where's the chauffeur? He should be here. I sent word. By carrier pigeon? No, telegram. He should be here. He should have been here. Jerry, darling, how many times have I told you? I don't like waiting in cold, directy airports. I'm sorry, Babs, darling. Lamb chop's got to get in the car. Her ears are all stuffed up. Look, now her nose is running. There he is. Get her into the car immediately. Traveling exhausts her completely. Nice couple. Of what? Uh, just one more, Miss Ivar. Sam? Look what she's wearing. Judge, I must have missed one. Well, I wouldn't mind stealing that myself. You might have to wait in line. The bait's here. Let's hope the fish are biting. Some little girl? Yes, little boy. Cool it. Miss West. You're very punctual, Mr. Ivar. I usually am when I hear my wife might be robbed. Do you mind telling me what this is all about? I have reason to believe that a certain jewel thief is planning to steal your wife's diamond. Oh, really? In fact, I'm sure he is. I see. And uh, why, may I ask, are you telling me all this? For your protection. Call it a favor. And of course, you want a favor in return. Isn't that the way you kind of people usually work? Something like that. And what actually do you have in mind, Miss West? Well, it's very simple. You put the diamond in the hotel safe, you hire me to guard the room, and when our friend arrives, I'll be waiting for him. <laughs> it's so funny. You, Miss West, delicious. I beg your pardon? I must say that yours is a, a rather original, if crass, way of getting clients. Well, suit yourself, Mr. Ivar. It's your wife's quarter of a million. How nice of you to remind me. And now, good day, Miss West. Thank you very much. We'll try to get along without your services. Mr. Ivar, I have one thing to say to you. You mean you actually said that to him? He turned a very satisfying shade of magenta. Well, I don't blame him. Got that out of your system now? I don't come here for therapy. I come here for practice. If you say so. Now, look, Sam. OK. What are you doing for dinner tonight? I have a previous engagement. Does that mean what I think it means? Could be. Will you be realistic, honey? Ivor refused to hire you. How do you expect to set a trap without his help? Because I have your help. Oh, no. Not on your life. That's what we'll get if we're caught up here. Life. Sing, sing, swings this time of year. Yes. Television set, sir. We already have one. We already have one. The hotel wants you to have a newer model. 
There's no charge. So if it's free, we'll take it. Yes, if it's free, we'll take it. Enjoy the new one. Oh, just a minute. Oh, just a minute. Much obliged, ma'am. I mean, sir. television. Very funny. One of these days we'll die laughing. It's a great room, Sam. You could have gotten me further away if you tried. Can I help it if there's a convention in town? Let's hope we get a clear picture. With what we paid for the equipment, we ought to. Not to that one, this one. A new kind of set. It watches you. rating this show is getting. I better get back to the truck and keep the generator going. I want to spend a quiet evening at home watching television. Hey, honey, if there's any trouble. Loud and clear, Sam. <laughs> Do you mind ringing Mr. Ivar's room? I have an appointment with him. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I just saw him leave with his wife. Oh, dear me, how terrible. May I borrow your pen, please? Oh, certainly. Leave this message in Mr. Ivar's box, will you please? Yes, sir. Thank you.
I didn't know you cared. This is where I came in. Correction. This is where you go out. I didn't think you'd expect me here tonight. Oh, that's the trouble with me. Overconfidence. We all have our faults. Curiosity seems to be one of yours. Could get you killed one of these days. Better keep your sword dry, mister. This isn't a cigarette lighter. What's going on here? A funny thing happened to me on the way to my TV set. Miss West, what are you doing here? Who is this man? The jewel thief you didn't believe existed. You mean? I mean, I'm on overtime. You're gonna get quite a bill. The gray lady? Still your virginal property. I don't know how to thank you. You could start by calling the police. This is getting heavy. You jackass! You dumb, stupid jackass! Everything we worked for, planned on. You let a girl blow it all. She's like a bad penny. What a setup. Your wife's diamond and your thief. The old insurance game, and I was dumb enough to fall for it. But smart enough to catch up it. Most unfortunate, Miss West. You were perfect. Big reputation, that's good casting. Someone steals the gray lady, and it's all part of the pattern, your pattern, Mr. Abbott. And who would suspect you, Mama's little helper, helping himself to all that insurance money? The insurance will take care of itself. You are the problem at the moment. Look, I don't want to be in the way. Why don't I just say good night and grab a cab? Did you make sure the desk clerk saw you? Exactly as we said. How did you know I was in trouble? I didn't. Just outside the hotel. There was a truck. A fellow in it had delivered a TV set in here earlier. It bothered me, and so I checked. He was watching a closed-circuit show. You were the star performer. Your friend will have quite a headache in the morning. You're very thorough, Mr. Ivar. Thank you, Miss West. Get rid of her. What? Don't you see? It'll work for us. I'll say I hired her to guard the gray lady. You broke in, she tried to stop you, and whoosh, an eight-story drop. You're right, Miss West. He is third. More than you know. Well, I'm sure he told you the truth about the gray lady. What about the gray lady? Well, uh, he's selling the real gray lady. You're going to have a great time down in Mexico, or wherever you're going trying to peddle that fake. Come on, Abbott. Divide and conquer. Miss West is playing the oldest game in the world. Are you trying to tell me that Diamond's phony? You'll find out when you try to sell it. I said get rid of her. Now. OK. Right after examining that baby of ours. laid plans of mice and men. Yours too, Mr. Ivar. Not really. The thief broke in. You fought gallantly to protect my wife's jewelry. The two of you struggled and shot each other. The same gun? I'd hate to be your defense attorney. No, Miss West. I also have your gun. Thoughtful. No. No! All right. Let's play your game, Miss West. We are going to have a ball.
Hi. 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 Well, I'm glad to see you, too. I beg you not to take this job now, didn't I? Sam, watch it. You're going to break a stitch. Which I wouldn't have if I hadn't listened to you. I'm sorry, Sam. Really, I am. There. All better? I think gangrene just set in. Well, thanks a lot. Well, now that you nearly got us both killed saving a phony jewel for a phony millionaire, who pays us? Publicity? Columns of it. Our phone's been ringing like the bells of St. Mary's. We're book solid. Paying customers? Money in the bank. Mr. Bolt, I have to change your bandage now. So long, Sam. I'll see you later. Wait a minute. I want to hear about those jobs. I have a luncheon appointment. Besides, you know how I hate the sight of blood. 